everybody, welcome to Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be how to temporarily homeschool. All right, you guys, my email, my inboxes, my DMs, my messages have been flooded for months with questions about how to homeschool. My initial response to that was to film a video about how to start homeschooling, which I will link up here in case you want to watch it. That took you through all of the things that I wish somebody had told me in the beginning, which was like finding your homeschool philosophy by doing, you know, a quiz that helped you narrow it down or learning your child's, you know, learning style, which again was a quiz to help you narrow it down, finding curriculum based off of those things. It was all of the things I wish I had known. That being said, as useful as I think all of those things are, the messages that I'm seeing more and more of right now are people who are like, I don't really care about any of that because I'm just in this for right now. And honestly, there is nothing wrong with that. What I'm going to tell you in this video, while it is not how we personally homeschool right now, it's going to be how to help you survive temporarily homeschooling. If you are coming into this and you are not, at least not right now, in this for the long haul, if you are just thinking to yourself, I just need to survive the next 12 weeks or the next 18 weeks or the next school year, I am going to give you what you need to keep in mind to get through that. I remember when we first started homeschooling, there was a few things that really made it like really, really mattered to me. And that was because when we first started, when Emily was in preschool and kindergarten, we weren't sure that we were in this for the long haul. When we first started, we said we were going to take this from year to year. We were going to you know, see how we felt. And honestly, we weren't even sure I was going to be able to stay home long term financially and continue to homeschool her. So the way I felt about homeschool those two years versus the way I feel about it now is completely different. I remember feeling like I needed her to keep up with the public school because there was a time that she could have to go back into it. So I needed her to be, you know, learning the same things they were learning. I needed her to be able to do the same things they were doing. I needed her to be prepared to go into that setting and thrive in it. Now I feel very differently because we've been homeschooling going into our fifth or sixth year now. I'm not sure which. And honestly, the way we homeschool now is completely different from the way I homeschooled then. And that's okay. And maybe you will temporarily homeschool for this period of life. Um, and then maybe you'll go into it for the long haul and yours will change too. And that's fine. Or maybe you just need to survive and you temporarily homeschool and you send your child back to public school. That's okay too. If you are planning to temporarily homeschool, there is probably a three things that you want to look for in a curriculum or in a um, plan or whatever it is. The first of which is that you're probably going to want it to be open and go. You are not going to want, especially if this is a time period for you where you are um, having to battle other things. Maybe you're moving, maybe you have sick children, maybe it's a family emergency, maybe it's because of coronavirus. Either way, you have a lot of other things going on. The last thing you're going to want to do is spend hours of your time piecing things together, planning things out. You are going to want something that is open and go, that's easy to use. Number two is you are probably going to want it to be a minimal investment because you are only temporarily homeschooling. The last thing you're going to want is to spend thousands of dollars and make this huge investment on curriculum that you really only need for a short period of time. Maybe you need it for you know a few weeks, maybe you need it for a few months, but either way, the last thing you're going to want is to spend this huge investment on something that you don't plan on being a huge investment of yours or your child's life. You just need to get through, you know, the immediate future. So a smaller investment would be preferable. The last thing is probably going to be that you want it to be um, minimal. And I say minimal in the sense that you're not going to want, you know, 17 different books and this giant box of science experiments with all this stuff in it. Not that there's not a time and place for those, but this is not that time or place. Um, you're probably going to want it to be streamlined straight to the point. You're not going to want, you know, student notebooks and teacher's manuals and pieces and parts and moving components. You're going to want it to be open and go, affordable and minimalistic and streamlined. Those three things are going to help you survive. 
The fourth thing you're probably going to want is for it to follow the public school. And I say that in a sense of you're going to want to make sure that it is um, following those same state standards so that your child does not fall behind or so that they can kind of go right back into the public school system at whatever point, whether that be a few weeks, a few months, or a school year from now. Now, I really have to back up here and say that I personally don't believe a child can fall behind, at least not in a homeschool setting. Um, I have a video where I will link to that up here, you guys, but I do understand the need if you're temporarily homeschooling and feeling like your child is going to go back into school, um, a public school setting, I, I understand the need for them to be learning the same things. And just want you to know, I don't personally believe they can fall behind. But I have taken all of those things into consideration, open and go, affordable, streamlined, and following the state standards. And I have looked around and I found something that I think would work if you were temporarily homeschooling. Evan Moore offers a homeschool bundle. It is grade specific, so you can get whatever grade that your child is in. And that homeschool bundle includes every subject that you can possibly think of including reading, writing, language, spelling, vocabulary, math, science, social studies. I have a few of the books here that are included in the third grade because that's the grade that my daughter is in. Um, and all of these books are amazing. I have flip throughs of most of them. We just did some of the history pockets. They were so much fun. Honestly, it was way better than anything I did um, in public school personally but it includes every single subject. What they're also including right now as a bonus or a gift is a homeschool planner when you purchase that homeschool bundle. And this homeschool planner covers everything that's included in the bundle and it basically gives you an editable format for each of the books that are available in it. And it tells you everything that you need to do each week for 36 weeks which is the standard um, school year. So all you would do is plug in the date that you're going to be doing it and then you just check it off. Now, if I was, if I was you, what I actually plan to do is take the two pages that are for that book. So like this is two pages for the language fundamentals and I am going to paper clip it to the front of the book. That way I can just check it off, you know, as we do it. One of the fantastic things about Evermore, like I said, is that it is affordable. It is open and go. So the teacher portion is within the book. Like here's the teaching portion. Here is the you know part that needs to be completed. So the teaching portion is in here. It's all streamlined. It follows those state standards so that at the end of the year or the end of half of the year or whenever, your child can move right back into public school, not having fallen behind, you're not going to have to spend a ton of time planning and prepping because it's already ready to go. All you have to do is open the book and they're even including that curriculum planner, which means that it's even going to tell you exactly where you need to be at the end of each week to stay on track for the end of that 36 week school year, which is what most schools follow. So if you are a temporary homeschooler for whatever reason, if you are only homeschooling for a short period of time, if you were only in this for the right now, this is my suggestion for you. Keep in mind, you want it to be open and go. You want it to be minimal investment. You want it to be as streamlined as possible. And you want it to follow those state standards or at least follow whatever standards it is that are important to you. If you're planning to send your child back to um, public school, then I would suggest you know that it follows those state standards. And in my opinion, from the research that I have done, I would feel very confident suggesting the Evan Moore Homeschool Bundle because it does all of those things and that bonus homeschool planner really does push it over the top because you don't have to do anything. They're going to hold your hand through it all. It tells you exactly what to do and when to do it to keep your child you know, where they need to be. Now, to help you out with one of those things, I have partnered with Evan Moore to bring you a giveaway. So if you are looking for it to be that minimal investment, this is what you want to do. You're going to want to go to that description box and click on the raffle copter link. It is going to give you multiple different options for how to enter to win a $50 gift card to help minimize that investment even more.